Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool No Mythic team you can use for this journey event. Now, first things first, really important, if you can, grab a Tier 1, 2, and 3. Tier 1, because the Potion of Enchantment gives all your allies enchantment at the start of battle for this event only. And you also get some more sigils anyway, and a bit of gold, which is handy. Tier 2, you get the Potion of Explosion. Exploding four gems at the start of battle makes this a nice, quick start. And you also pick up Ignarian, absolutely vital for this. Dealing damage to an enemy, then creating two red gems boosted by elemental allies. But as the event captain, whatever damage you're doing, you can double it because it gets times two magic for this event. And also, you get a bonus to the score as well. Pathfinder, gain two to three times miles in my journey event based on my ascensions once you have that third trait. So very important to get that as well. And that uh, red that Born of Fire, create a red gem when my turn begins, is super useful. Also, onto the team. Elementalist class using Wonder Stars, Garuda, Ignarian, and the Mirage Queen. And the Mirage Queen does an awful lot more than just give a 50% start to elementals, which is nice on its own, because combined with that Potion of Explosion, means quite often our team is ready to go absolutely straight away. But convert all green gems to Doom Skulls is more handy than it first appears. And the reason is, you're generally only going to be casting this when we have a four match lined up when you can see that those green to doom scars are going to create a four match and an extra turn because when we do that that does several things at once not only does it do skull damage obviously because of those doom skulls but because they're a four match we get an extra turn which is important for journey to maintain as many extra turns as you can but every time we do that we're also going to stun freeze burn and entangle a random enemy when matching four or more gems courtesy of elemental force and at the same time those gems those doom skulls explode a little bit gaining a bit of mana for the team at the same time and as well as that we get something else which is in the traits or champion talents let's go over them quickly now snap freeze it's freeze a random enemy at the start insulated immune to frozen thunder fist all yellow allies gain one magic watery binding all blue allies gain four life rock solid gain a barrier when matching brown gems Lightning Strike, that was the other one. Explode one yellow gem on four or five gem matches. That'll happen as well, which generates even more mana, which means our team gets charged quicker, which means basically things can happen faster. And Lord of Storms, we usually have fortitude on this, but Lord of Storms is really good for this. Elementals gain one magic when an ally casts a spell. So regarding the other troops, we have Wonder Stars, of course. Choose one, create six elemental stars, bless all allies, or create seven umbral stars and curse all enemies. We'll generally be doing that first one all the time because red is a color that this is important on this event and red is one of the elemental stars colors. Now, the way to go about this is to consider that in a journey event, you want to generate as many extra turns as you can. If you make extra turns, you're going to loop more. That way, you're going to lose less miles because if you go above 10 turns in a journey on a single battle, just when you start to lose miles. A turn is basically your go, including all extra turns, the enemies go, including all extra turns, then back to you. That is one complete round, and you need to basically complete each battle in 10 rounds or less to maintain maximum miles. Otherwise, you start to lose a few, which you don't want. But Ignarian does damage to an enemy, creates two red gems boosted by elemental allies. So the more red that are on the board, when you cast that, the better chance you've got of an extra turn. It does create a red gem when its turn begins. That does help a little bit, but Garuda is the main actual help for this. It's really important on journey events to try and create a storm of whatever color is a relevant relevant color in, in, in the journey. In this case, it's red. And a firestorm is red. When we cast Gerudo, we get a firestorm and then does damage to all enemies and also gains one magic boosted by red gems. So every time you cast this, you're going to reignite that firestorm, if you like, as well as gain a bit more magic, which means you can be doing more damage on subsequent casts, as well as chuck more red on the board, because basically... As soon as it gets going, you want to get more red. This is where Wonder Stars is actually really useful as well, because Wonder Stars destroys so many gems. If you do that in the middle of a firestorm, the likelihood is you're going to get a load of red drop down, rather than other colours, which A, gives Wonder Stars a better chance of being successful when you cast it again, but also leaving more red on the board so Ignarian gets a successful loop. So that is the way it's going to work. Banner for this is just going to be a plain and simple plus two red a proud banner. And we've gone over the Elementalist talent trees already. So let's take it out of there and see what we can do. Let's jump into a couple of battles. And like I say, for the 
Early battles, when things are particularly easy, then this should be a nice, quick team to get things going nice and fast. There we go, Wonder Stars is up already, didn't do anything. The Garuda is up next round anyway, so no need to even risk casting the Wonder Stars. Just get the job done nice and quick in the early stages. Trog pole, mate, you're going to have to wait. Your pole's going to have to wait by your trog. What? Not a clue. Not a clue, it's stuff in the tea again. There's a post of explosion. See? Done. Don't get faster than that. No no turns, not even a need to do anything. Let's bash this at goat round the bonce. Not on the horns. Don't want that. Another dicky bird come in there. Let's cast the old wand. There you go. On your way. On your bikes, on your skateboards, on your didgeridoos with springs. What the heck am I talking about? Didgeridoo? I've just invented like a pogo stick. I had visions then of a, a pogo stick. But for now, let's go with didgeridoo. Then attached a, a spring attachment to it in my mind. It's like, um, yeah. No idea. No idea. Well, see, the enemy's going up in power already, but the cool thing about this is it does gain magic every single time you cast it. So let's grab that. As you can see, they've got a little bit of energy left, but we've still got like a little boost now to 69, so we can cast that, get it charged up again, and a huge amount of overkill. We've still got our other Ign Ignition, Ignition. What, what's, his, what's, his, what's his name? Let's have a look. What's his name? Oi, matey Yellowhead. What's your name? Ignarian. Ah. Uh, sounds a bit like Ignition. That's why I said it. Never mind. Anyway, let's grab that because it's there. Elementalist effect. Very handy on that. Four matches. So we've got this. Damage to all. I missed a four match there because I wasn't looking. Can do this if you want. It's more damage. It's a four match at the same time, which is groovy. When they're entangled, then they're going to do you zero skull damage, which is nice. And I got charged up our. Or got our Garuda charged up as well. Literally every single time you cast Garuda, it's going to get powered up a little bit. And even though it only goes up by a little bit every time. Because it's damage to all, it's going, that, that boost is going on effectively on every single troop. And there we go. So what we got here? Should we take anything else first, just for the crack? Uh, nah, we're okay. So we've got 67 damage to all at the moment. Wasn't a huge amount of red there, so we didn't get a massive boost. But because we activated the Firestorm, if we cast one of the stars now... We should have more red on the screen, which we have now got. 72 damage to all, plenty to wipe out. A few more battles left. Yeah, it's doing really well overall. Always take the four matches when they're there, see what the explosion does at the beginning. But, um, yeah, the Firestorm, very, very useful for this indeed. So let's grab that, get our other troop up, have a little gander around for potential four matches if you get to cast this it's certainly worth doing if you get a four match on it because you can do loads of damage um, a bit of explosion which charges up the team at the same time and as well as that if the storms go in you can get more red drop down than anything else which is really good so it's better to have the top troop entangled before you cast the damage to all troop because we are going to take a skull hit afterwards but it's not a big deal not a huge amount of red there. If there's not a huge amount of red there, you can often generate more red by casting Wonder Stars because you get a load of def load of gems destroyed, and the chances are red will actually fall more than the other ones, which is exactly what we want. And when you got more red, you got a better chance of this dude looping. Uh, but take a look around for the green to skulls first. Uh, if you're going to cast this, always take the four match first. If you're going to cast this, sometimes I leave the four match there because it's better to leave more red on the board. 
because we managed to loop. If we're going to cast my Garuda, it doesn't matter. Every single time we cast our Garuda, we go up in damage. Now on 80 damage to all. Got this down here. Can't say no to that. Look all that red. That's courtesy of this constant firestorm we keep on getting every single time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We cast Garuda. Well, let's uh, finish them fellas off. But there it is, a nice, easy to use, no mythic team there for this journey event. Really reliable when you get that firestorm going. And look out for those four matches at the same time. But there it is, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, be really cool if you pass that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.